Hello and welcome. Here we've got a review of the new X380, it's called a 380 Detect quadcopter. As you can see it looks really nice. It's very windy, um, but I had to give it a go. This is the very first flight. So I'm not going to go very high, I just want to test some of the features out. On the transmitter, it's got to take off and land automatically. So I'll try that out. I haven't got the um, other camera yet, I've got to get it, but I've just got a fixed camera, uh, I think it's the SJ9000, something like that, but I'll put a description, uh, the camera on, it's rigid, headlock and go home, I won't be trying to go home yet, I'm just going to get a feel of the quadcopter and see what it's like. So, up the back of it, there's a, a bright light to let you know the condition. We're looking for a satellite being all green. So we'll set that up. This is the very first time. So I'm really not going to go very far, very high. So on, this, on the bigger ones, we turn the transmitter on first and then plug in the quadcopter. It's got a massive battery in. As you can see, it's huge. It's a 11.1 540 milliamps, 20C. The transmitter's on, both switches are up. As you see at the back, it's looking for a satellite. It's at the moment red and yellow. And it'll go, I think it's gone to green and it should go solid green so it's found satellites, that was quite quick but to set the position or what you do you have to bear me with me because this is the first time I think you bring your throttle stick down and toddle this three times one, two, three it goes solid green and I turn this round twice so once twice, I think I toddle it again and then I go vertical twice. Whoops. I toddle it again, it should go green. Right, solid green. So I hope that's it. So it's very windy, so I'm just going to test how the gyros hold, but I had to give it a go. To start it, you bring the uh, both the sticks down this way. It's, if you notice, the throttle stick's only on 50% all the time. So we bring them down, that should start up. So i hover it now. Switch off, you bring your throttle stick down and it will switch off. And put the camera on, so I'll put the camera on now. Start recording. I think it is. Try again. Okay, camera's on. It's holding there. This is straight out the box, it is. I'll just get a feel of it first and I'll try this uh, take off and landing. So it is, I hope you can hear me because it's very windy. So 
as you can see. I'm not doing nothing, the quadcox is fighting the wind by itself. Can I bring it down? Yeah, I'll take this, take off. I'm not sure if the motors have got to be off on the takeoff and landing. I say it's very windy. To take off, hold this button down. That's strange, that is. It takes off by itself. And all I've done was press the button and land it, hold it again, hold it down, it comes down. <laughs> that works really well. I'll just try that again. I change different position. All I'm doing is holding that takeoff button down. Hold it down. Come starts up by itself. Lift up. And the battery life is supposed to be about half an hour. Land button, hold it down, comes down, if it lands okay. That works perfect. Try the head hold. I'm not going to say too many features, but I'll just build my confidence up. So start it onto headlock. So if I turn it now, front and back should be the same, which it is, right and left, front and back, back, forward. The headlock works perfect as well. So it's jumping about because it's really windy. Plenty of power. Probably they hug this hole there. So I'm not, I won't, I'll keep this go home to another day. I just wanted to give you a, a feel of what it can do. Uh oh, what's happening? Well, I couldn't see it then. <clears throat> I got a bit nervous. Because flying this small quad quadcopter for such a long time, um, this has definitely got the power. Take it off headlock now. Sounds quite nice as well. The 
it's, all it is now is building the confidence so into a hover it hovers really well and the the GPS should hold its position we'll have a look around it That just holds there, it's really good. So whatever how high I put it, lift it up a bit. More so. It just holds there, whatever position I hold it at. The wind take it now, but it's still holding position. Okay, I'll call it a day now, if I don't have any accidents. Throttle all the way down, stop the motors. We'll just try this takeoff and landing one more time. So if I press this button, press it down once, it should automatically take off. And then I press it again, land, pressing it now. Red light comes on. Right. So there'll be loads more tests with this. We'll but have a look. I'll switch the camera off. I we recorded that. So look out for more videos. The first impression straight out of the box, that flies really well.